The third level up is called illuminating. And at this stage, your mind shines forth unclouded by all the defilements. So your mind is very bright, very clear. You realize that the creation of this body is filled with lust, hatred, and delusion. And therefore, you develop this disgust, this aversion for worldly things. From the Pure Land perspective, this is called Yan Li Suo Po, Ying Li Da Ba. You have this aversion for the worldly things. But it doesn't mean that you really hate it emotionally. We should understand it from a spiritual perspective. We are not hating this world, but disgust in a sense that we know there's something else better. It is more inferior than what we know that is something better. And therefore, we have this longing for supreme enlightenment because we know that it's much better than what the world can give. And therefore, you devote yourself day and night to the study of scriptures, sutras, kundin, and the practice of meditation. So this level here is now you're more absorbed. You're practicing meditation. So there is nothing wrong with this world. It says that the practitioner wants to pursue something more meaningful. The reasons that he sees no point in pursuing worldly pleasure, all the motives behind the pursuit of worldly pleasure are substantiated by right, lust and pride. And in the end, all we end up is being wrapped up in dissatisfaction, suffering, and frustration. Even though he sees the fertility of life, he doesn't mean that he ignores life. But in fact, he goes beyond that by acquiring knowledge of all the arts and sciences. So in other words, before we say that we give up on something, we need to have at least mastered it. And he also receives from the divas various dharanis, mantras, or special teachings for his protections when preaching the doctrine. He transcends the worldliness by overcoming the grasp of selfish craving, possessiveness, and ignorance. And he transcends the world by acquiring knowledge of our arts and sciences. So with the knowledge of the wrong path and the right path, he is protected from self-destruction by avoiding lust and pride. But you don't get to this stage and then become protected, but you protect yourself and you arrive at this stage. So we can use this as a measure to see how we have progress. If we are still being bothered by lust, hate, and pride, then we know that we're not at this stage. If we work at it to overcome lust and pride, then we are approaching closer to this stage. Until we attain this stage, a bodhisattva can still be tempted by Mara to slide back. 